Hey guys, okay, I'm downstairs in my basement right now, and I know uh, you've probably seen a lot of me lately, but um, I am sorry that you have to see me again today, because unfortunately, it's Monday, and so that usually means it's my day to do a video, but that is not news to you unless you are a new subscriber. Today's topic is going to be on support. Now, first I'm going to give you a little personal support story. You can skip it if you want. And then I'm going to give you resources. So first, um, as for me, I have gotten tons of support from my family. And I would say my friends, but I haven't seen them much this summer. And this summer is where I've done a, the majority of my transitioning, to be honest. Like, well, physically, I suppose. Not really. Never mind. Not physically, but I mean, like, my parents started 100% calling me he. And 100% started calling me by my male name. So that is a, definitely a big jump in the right direction. As for relatives, m all of my relatives know, to be honest. So they are all cool with it. They're acting like Cameron has been my name since the beginning. I did not pay attention to pronouns, or I did not was not like a giant stiffler about pronouns with them, because it is definitely a big thing. To, that's like, a name is one thing, because anyone can practically change their name, but not everyone can ch exactly change their gender. So, name is easier to handle than changing pronouns. So, I'm not going to be big on them with pronouns, but if they want to do it, that's up to them. Other than that, um, as far as more support goes, uh, a lot of my friends know, and I've actually kind of, sort of, put it online. Even my, uh, like... People who are just family friends, all of them know. So that is interesting. Like my dad, he'll say Cameron and Cam to like his work friends. And then his work friends act like they've already known. And so his work friends will call me Cam too. It's kind of weird how that happens because it makes me wonder how many people he's told. Or how many people anyone's told. But it's really, um, it's, it's cool. The less people I have to tell the less work it is for me. I know that sounds really lazy, but the less work. So I'm getting support from my therapist. I'm getting support from my school's uh, guidance counselor. And as for teacher support, I haven't told any of my teachers because this is summer and I'm going into 10th grade next year. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to tell my teachers next year. See, I have this thing where I'm going to I I have two scenarios. I'm going to tell them either that the F on that paper has been a mistake or I'm going to tell them the truth, but I don't know which one would go over better. So if you have any suggestions, then that would be awesome because I don't know if I should tell them or if I should just tell them that, whoa, the F and the name on that paper are both wrong. But that sounds more unreasonable because that's two things wrong in a legal system. So... I mean, it happens, but it's very rare that that might happen. Anyway, I'm getting support from all kinds of places, from the internet, from family, from everywhere, and so that is awesome. Now, how to deal with not getting support is, I don't really know, to be honest. I would say that if you're not having support, then talk to more people about it, or get some more resources, or... Try to convince a pers this person who is not supporting you that this is the right thing for you. But most of the time you can't entirely change someone's opinion because a lot of people are very strong about their opinions. And so if you, some people really have to tough this one out until they turn 18. So I really hope that, I mean, it is very rare that people are not supported by one member of some sort of something so it, it's very rare for someone not to be supported, but if this does happen, just know that you have the internet on your side, and you have friends who are friends with you, so they like you. And so, I mean, parental support is very hard to deal with if you do not have parental support. So I would just say wait it out or talk to them more seriously, have regular conversations about it. I'm not the best judge at this. So, I'm just going to move on to um, guides now. So, first I'm going to be doing books, the books that could help. And then I'm going to be doing websites, which I'll probably just show a screen something of. So, first, 
First for books is, this one is really good for parents, especially kind of unsupportive parents, like parents who are on the very edge or in the middle between yes and no. So if you want, then there's this book. It's called Helping Your Transgender Teen. It's a guide for parents. It's by Erwin Krieger. It sounds like some German dude. But it's really helpful, and um, it helped my parents out a lot. After my parents read this, that is about the moment when they started calling me Cameron and started saying he, so... If your parents need more convincing, I would say get this book. It's called True Selves, and it's by... Mildred L. Brown and Chloe Ann Roundsley, and it's really descriptive. And as for personally, like you being a trans teen yourself, I would say get this book. It's called Parrotfish, and it's about some, it's about a kid named Grady, which kind of sounds like gravy. I thought that was funny. Who's going through FTM transition, and so it's a really helpful book. I read it like three times. And those are three good books for getting. I'll post the names and the authors below. But now, here are some websites that can help you. Okay, so I hope this helped a little bit with getting your parents on board, with getting relatives on board, with getting friends on board and with helping yourself a little bit at the same time. So I hope this was enough support slash resources for you. And um, have a great Monday. I'm sorry you had to see my face again. Oh, wait, okay. One last thing is we are actually going to be um, taking up the auditions from last contest. So if you made an audition last contest, that is um, automatically in the drawing thing little contest for our new Thursday person. So you will definitely be considered. Uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, bye. I hope you have a great Monday.